Good morning, birthday bitches. It's time to wash these locks, pick out my outfit of the day, and get ready. Look great, because it's my birthday. All right, let's do it. Welcome back to my channel, featuring my wet brush. I don't think I've actually watched Frozen fully through, but when I was at Sally Beauty and I needed a new brush, I turned around and I'm like, yeah, this one's it. Tell you the truth, I uh, my first wet brush. Surprised I even got a second one because the first one snapped. I don't know. This one sounds more solid than this one. I'm scared. I had this one only a month, so. <laughs> really, Anna? Were you worth it? I've been training my hair for over a year. My friend Erin told me about a girl named Jasmine Ray Hair Co. on Instagram, and she calls it her bubbles. It's those highlights that you feature on top of your Instagram profile. And so, Jasmine Ray, her hair is a ball boom. You know, like, I think she's got at least two more times on me for hair. So, I mean, she knows how to grow. And I'll link her below she swears by brushing your hair if you're going to be training your hair to do go in between washes longer then you need to be brushing your scalp because if you don't have the activation of getting down and moving that gunk and the oils around then they're just sitting on your scalp and that initially will suffocate your follicle and a weak follicle will fall out and so if you're trying to go in between washes and you're not brushing your hair you're not doing justice for yourself so please go follow Jasmine Ray Hair Co and she will she goes into the shower in her bathing suit to show you how to wash your hair today I am using the hemp hair care from Hempworks, my daily choice it is the blue deep hydration cold pressed organic hemp seed hemp seed oil and no sodium chloride and or parabens the sls that you would see is not what the sodium laurel sulfates what they have is from coconut fatty acids and i'll also post a little bit info about that down below I know I don't necessarily need deep hydration just because I'm doing in between washes and my hair is naturally healthy from the oils in my scalp. It's there, I got it. It's all provided naturally and yeah. My ends, I have not had a haircut in like a year and you should be getting your hair trimmed, I mean at most, eight months apart. Keep trimming your hair. Your hair wants to grow, but it can't grow if you have a singed end, like a cauterized wound. You know what I mean? I think the last time I washed my hair was a week ago. Yeah, so I totally was able to go a few weeks, but then um, I wasn't brushing my hair as much and I didn't want to keep that build up. I just didn't have the time to do all of the action to brush my hair because it is uh, it's a process to go through each part and get up and in and then go through sections of your scalp. Naturally you should be brushing your hair but I just couldn't do it as integrated as I wanted to. So it's only been a week and what I was using before was their beat up brew shampoo because I'm a beer girl. Hemp and hops are cousins you know so like I was like yeah I'll try the hops this was made with shea butter caffeine to wake up the follicles this one is also moisturizing shampoo for damaged and dry hair and I kind of didn't want to go with that same formula build up but this just came to me so we're doing this one I think I felt the caffeine in this one like it would be little pinches in the back of my neck and this stuff if you really look at it it's this is the shampoo 
it's really thick. I mean, it smells amazing. It's like a spritzy ginger. So I'm. that's the shampoo. Look how thick that is. So could you imagine what the conditioner looks like? Conditioner is runnier. And that in my hair was not... <laughs> it wasn't... I Because I started that when I started training my hair and it just didn't go well. You need to make sure you're using a good shampoo as well. Mm. <sighs> There's a cat down there. Uh, before I was, or during the brew shampoo, I was also doing the overtone coloring conditioner. So that's why there's so much more conditioner left in this bottle, because I wasn't using it. Ooh! My first time using overtone, I had the, the OG rose gold, and because I was scared. I'm like, my hair's light enough, right? But it does change with the season. So, I mean, it was coming into fall and winter, and... I was just scared to go with this paint. Oh, it smells so minty, I love it. So I did that and I was just like, uh, I mean, it kind of came out. The more it faded, the brighter it became and I thought that was kind of odd, but so I rocked the fade with the overtone. And then, yeah, I did rose gold for brown hair and that came out dark. And I was just like, I really wanted like a princess pink. And then I went for the extreme pink, and it was decent. Like, I really do like how the overtone line comes out. So minty. Uh, that you can mix and match and do two parts one color, one part another color, and get yourself a curated, personalized, unique style that no one else has. You know what I mean? Like, you can make your own hair color. It's foolproof. You just got to do a sample. You know, you just a little pop a little sample underneath. And if you like it, send it. Jasmine Ray also talks about washing your hair. You want to only use shampoo on your scalp because shampoo is made to clean the oils and dirt off of the surface. And you don't necessarily want to be overwashing your ends that are already like frizzle fry. You condition your ends up to like a good part and then you only shampoo the scalp. My Instagram also shows you my initial introduction into training my hair under the Healthy Annie Now bubble. I got the Healthy Annie Now from that Netflix <laughs> original. Jonah Hill and Ooh, what's her name? I'll probably pop that some here in the open distance. What's her name? Also, I have to mention that because I have so much hair to wash that it's so long, it is difficult doing both hair process and body process without getting like body soap in my hair. So I have to bring a hair tie in and after I wash my hair, I, I slap this baby up in a low bun. And right before I get out, I just, I just squeeze that shit and um, get out, towel off, immediately unwrap my hair flip it over again just pulse it down to the tips and wrap her up so on to the shower wrung my hair out a little bit and now she's in the towel time to get ready 
My face is so dry from blowing my nose this week. All crusty right here, it sucks. Versus deodorant, I recently found this Love Beauty and Planet brand with coconut water and mimosa flower. I understand that it's Unilever, I get it, but it's no parabens, no alcohol, no aluminum, not tested on animals, vegan, plant-based deodorant, ethically sourced, 24 hour long fragrance and 24 hour odor protection. If you take a shower in the morning, you put it on, you'll wake up tomorrow morning with lightly fragranted pits. So um, it does 24 hours. I'm gonna do my spot treatment first, and it is Tarte's Blemish Bully. Acne treatment with clove, niacinamide, salicylic acid. Honestly, this has been a holy grail along with this knockout tingling treatment. I have not had something actually resurface my skin to the point where my pores literally minimized and my skin felt soft. This. It says it's formulated to exfoliate, balance, minimize appearance of pores, 10% acid complex. I call it a liquid exfoliator. Some people call it a toner. I really, it works. That's all I can say. This works and it doesn't actually give me that harsh tingling that a lot of people have spoken about. I do have somewhat sensitive skin and that doesn't hurt. Uh, the first week it was way intense and I would get wicked red. Do not use it in the morning. It is an overnight product that redness uh, will remain for a few hours and if you go into the sun, it looks worse. You basically will be sunburnt because it, it's an acid. So yeah, spot treatment first. I have uh, something right here and I smile so much I think is the reason why I get pimples or blackheads or whiteheads here. Because I'm constantly crowding this spot and I like if my face is sweating the oils they just drain down the sides of my face I'm gonna chalk it up to just smiling a lot I mean I can't get upset about something that's been happening like forever so I mean just de deal with it the best I can and uh, I'm happy with where my skin is at right now due to these products it took me a long time to actually find something that was good for me, good for the planet, and worked. I don't know how I'm gonna do this next steps. We'll see.
Thank you so much for watching this birthday get ready with me. It was so much fun and it was a great one. If this is a video you preferred and want to see more style videos like this, subscribe, like, and share. All right, Annie Malls, now go out there and get your own makeup looks. If you have any questions, go ahead and pop them below in the comments section. See ya!